Hello and welcome to a new presentation of Aten Romania channel. Today we're going to focus on Aten CM1284, a KVM with four HDMI and USB inputs and two outputs. Our inputs will be provided by the laptop, the PC station, the player and our HDMI camera. Depending on the type of input that you have, for instance our laptop and our PC station, then you can connect the cable that we provided in the box with all connectors like HDMI, USB, 3.5mm microphone and 3.5mm speakers. Others, like our HDMI player and HDMI camera, will only get the HDMI cable. Let's boot up the device and after a short period of time, all four input devices will get their image on one single monitor. This is called multi-view, and there it is. In its default, we are seeing a quad-view display. And now, let's demonstrate the boundless switching technology. As you can see, in my top left corner, I have my laptop, and in my top right corner, I have the station. Right now, I'm using the mouse connected to the KVM to work on my laptop. Wherever the mouse is, also the keyboard attached to the KVM is going to act. So, if I open something to write, this is going to act as a keyboard for this monitor. Now, very easily, I'm moving to our PC station. And now my mouse and my keyboard are attached here. We can also open the OSD menu from the buttons of the product. After entering the password, we have full access and, for instance, we can change the multi-view from quad to, for instance, picture-in-picture. -picture. If we have more CM1284, then either via daisy-chaining or cascading, we can bring more inputs, up to 16, to the same output monitor. You can also decide what and how it's going to be displayed on the monitor by going with your mouse upwards and an automatic menu is going to be displayed. If this menu overlaps some of your icons and you cannot work, then you can choose the icon with the pencil and you can move this bar. Also, you can use the remote control provided in the box to decide what to display and how. For instance, now we're going to move from quad view to picture in picture and then we're going to return back to quad view. If you do not like the position of the inputs over the output, this can be customized as well. I have been giving a lot of thoughts on how to show you my monitor in better quality, so for that I'm going to use the UC3020. I'm going to replace the output that is going to the monitor and I'm going to put it in the HDMI input of the UC3020 and then the UC3020 I'm going to connect via USB Type-C to my laptop. I can now start my recording software and this is the image. And now I can re-demonstrate, for instance, the boundless switching technology in better quality. I'm working on the top left image, which is my laptop. And effortless I can move to the top right image, which is my station. And as you remember, my keyboard is also connected here. This is especially useful for operators and controllers when they have to face multiple inputs on one single output. With that in mind, I would like to thank you for watching this video. I hope the CM1284 will be part of your future project, either for the multi-view or for the boundless switching. Until our next video, have a wonderful day.